Hi everyone, this is Will, aka Dr. Financial Literacy. I uh, work with a client today uh, in terms of um, looking at some of the challenges and we're trying to revert some numbers in general. Um, for this particular um, um, client that I'm working with, um, we initially started uh, with the idea of we're going to try to tackle a credit card of $24,000. Um, over the last two months, the clients really didn't see too much of a, um, a dent in the particular credit card using Velocity Banking. So we decided, okay, let's go for another credit card that's a smaller amount. So we're looking at now the smaller credit card of uh, 10000 um, the client has a income of three thousand dollars, has expenses of three hundred and fifty-eight, so a negative cash flow of two hundred and fifty-eight dollars. Uh, the client now has an understanding of the potential of velocity banking and going from the check of the job to the banks and then to the credit card. So over the last two months, we've made the switch from using the credit card. Um, in terms of just paying the bills when they come due and just having money sit in the check till now she at least has four bills that we had going on to the $24,000 uh, credit card. And that was uh, electricity, phone bill, water bill um, in general. So I was able to at least help the customer, the client to go from just having the money sitting in the bank where it wasn't really doing anything um, in general, um, to now putting that at least on one credit card, then see as much benefit to now another card. So what we expect to happen, um, the rent is the only thing that will not be paid through the $10,000 credit card, which will leave $1,800 in expenses. We're going to try to make sure that we put all $1,800 in expenses all 1,800 of expenses on to the $10,000 credit card, make the payment of, and that should satisfy, leave us a balance of 8,200, and then the expenses were 3,258 minus the 1,200, and then we also minus the 320, which brought it to 17, 30, 1738 and going back up and increasing. So um, this was just an attempt um, in general to help the client and myself to understand velocity banking as we move forward. Um, one of the main things that we learned and looking forward to is, okay, we had a choice between starting big in general at $24,000 or starting small at $10,000. We made the shift to a little smaller amount and maybe see more gains psychologically in general. Um, so that's what we did today. And um, I'm happy um, I'm happy for her that she's at least seen Velocity Banking. We can move forward with it. She has some understanding um, of the concept. All right. So again, this is Will, a.k.a. Dr. Financial Literacy. Thank you very much for stopping by. Have a great day.